Okay, in this lesson, we'll explain the multiply effect using a graphical illustration. And this explanation is usually what you'll be, you'll be using in exams, and it can be shortened or lengthened according to the mark weightage. Essentially, you need to show at least two rounds of the multiplier and explain when it stops in an exam situation. So look, we start with an autonomous increase in aggregate exponential, as shown by the parallel upward shift of the planned AE curve from AE1 to AE2. Now, at the original national output of y, of y not, plan AE, which is BYO, exceeds nas actual national output, which is the point AYO. So firms have failed to correctly anticipate demand and thus have to draw upon their stocks and spare capacities to cater to excess demand. And we call this an unplanned disinvestment. And that's equal to the value of the excess expenditure, in this case, AB. Now, firms thus have an incentive to increase production in the next time period in order to restore their stocks and spare capacities to desired levels. They thus increase production by BC, which is equal to the unplanned disinvestment of AB. In order to do this, they must engage more factors of production, which include labour, and, and thus they will pay more factor income. Hence, national income increases by BC to the new output level Y1. When workers get paid more income, they're likely to spend part of the increase on goods and services. This causes an increase in induced consumption of CD. Note, however, that not all the income is spent on consumption. Some money leaks away in the form of savings, taxes and imports. Hence, we see that at the output level Y1, planned aggregate expenditure, which is DY1, once again exceeds actual national output, which is CY1. So firms draw upon their stocks and spare capacities to, and an unplanned disinvestment of CD occurs. They, does, they then again have an incentive to increase production, and so the process continues. At each new cycle, the additional induced consumption falls due to leakages that we've already mentioned. So when the total leakages is equal to the initial autonomous increase in national income, the multiplier effect stops, resulting in a new equilibrium level of national income, which is Y2.